We are getting ready to start our third year of homeschool. So I have been decluttering and organizing our closet. We have downsized from a whole school room to a closet this last school year. So I wanted to keep it as organized as possible, but then I went shopping. So I want to share with you what I got before I put everything away. So today's video is a back to school shopping haul. So we went shopping to Target, Walmart, and some Dollar Tree. The only thing that isn't from either of those stores, paintbrushes by Artessa. And I picked up the ones that have like the water in them, like you put the water in there so we don't have to carry a thing of water and there's like, it's just easier and water's not being spilled everywhere. So I picked these up <clears throat> and then also these little, um, uh, watercolor journals. These are also from Artessa and I got them from Amazon. We're keeping them in here with our watercolor stuff. This little uh, caddy thing is from Target from their dollar spot and it was I think five dollars um, but I thought it was perfect to just carry it with our with us during our walks and then we can just uh, I don't know find a bench or something and then do some watercolor. So all of that is kept in here and we can just carry it like this. From Dollar Tree, I only picked up a few things, um, not a whole, not a whole lot. I got some new clipboards for the boys for those on the go days or just to like, you know, sometimes they, they want to do it on the couch or something. Some sticker puzzles. I, we really like doing these for like morning uh, basket or just like, you know, quiet alone time. These are just like puzzles, but they're stickers. So they're all scrambled up. And then there's a blank page here where they can put it together. So they're also great for on the go, like in the car, because there's no pu like puzzle pieces that are going to fall on the floor. Um, perfect for plane trips and road trips. And then I also picked up this little draw with me. Um, and this one is the wild animals. And it just shows you step by step. Now you can draw on here, um, but I, I have the kids draw on their own paper, on their own paper so they can... Um, hold on to that now what we got from target my target hasn't put out a bunch of the uh back to school stuff that i see everybody posting about um so it's taken me a few trips to accumulate these things um i don't know if they're like putting them out in batches or something but like every time we go it's not a whole lot in there uh but we found some stuff. So these are the human, no, these are uh, glow in the dark sticker books, like little activity books. And we picked up human body, insects and bugs. Oh, I got two of each one for each kid. And uh, space and ocean. So the stickers are glow in the dark. And they get to learn some fun facts about different animals. And I don't know. I thought it was a fun little thing to add to our little unit studies. I got this wordplay uh, magnetic learning activity. Now it has a ton of words in here. Ah! I already uh, punched them out, but it has so many words. And you just get to practice the different parts of speech, your adjectives, your verbs, um, and then just separate them, sort them practice sentence building. I got a new uh, good morning thing here for a calendar time. We had one from last year and I don't know what happened to it. So I picked up another one since I will still be doing a uh, morning time, uh, calendar time with my four year old. And I also picked up a pocket one, just a pocket chart. I thought this was a good way to like, to display our uh, spelling words. Also from the bullseye section, I picked up these uh, fun uh, learning book cards. I don't know what they're called. This one is Backyard Birds, Butterflies of the World, and Bugs. So again, I thought these were fun to like take on our walks um, and try to find some of these. Learn a little bit about little insects and bugs around our neighborhood. And then maybe even do a little watercolor of them. And I got some more of the blank books. Our favorite are from uh, Moleskin, like the cashier 
uh, blank journals, like carry in our backpack and like draw, but these will do. It's eight in a pack and I think it's $3. And from Target, not from the dollar section, this is by Mondo Llama and their little pencil holders in the shape of a pencil. Last year, to get excited for the new school year, I had the kids each paint their own um, little pencil holder and it was the shape of an apple. Um, and this one I thought was fun. They can sort them out, I don't know, crayons, markers, pencils, and then uh, David likes to keep one in his room just in case he wants to work on things up there. Um, he doesn't have to carry our whole little art caddy up there. He can, he will already have his own um, with him. And if he wants to carry it up and down the stairs, I mean, he can, it's not very heavy. And I picked up this flip tent. This one is the, the Spanish one. Again, we were making a bigger effort to uh, learn Spanish. So uh, I thought this was really cute. So it gives you the English word, the Spanish word, the picture, and then uh, the color. It props up like this. Ta-da! And also a uh, flip tent. I got this math one for fractions. Show y'all what it looks like without the glare. Although you can probably see a glare reflection on my glasses the whole time, but yes Diego. so this little tent you have the fraction the decimal percentage and a little picture to show the fraction okay so now from the back to school section area at target uh we got a few things the one that i'm most excited about are these highlighters i've seen everybody raving about these they are erasable highlighters and i picked up the pastel so they're erasable we'll see how how good the eraser is some pens like i've seen some pens like oh erasable pens and like they don't erase i can still see it gotta try it right now so we got this let's see i'm impressed so it actually erases i mean i don't know how good the whole thing is gonna erase let's see Wow. I mean, it's not magic day. It has an eraser on it. So I'm excited for these. <clears throat> oh, and remember, as homeschool parents, you can actually uh, um, uh, b -b 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 qualify for the teacher discount. The 15%, I think they amped it up to 20% this school year. I'll try to link it down below for you guys so you guys can, can check it out. You will have to submit some paperwork. I made a just a random ID for myself and they took it. They, uh, they actually approved it with that, so yeah. Now I also picked up a new sharpener for each one and a thing of uh, a roll of tape. They're always taping stuff, so I picked up a roll of tape for each and also another little sharpener we do have an electric sharpener i bought one after you know i injured my hand sharpening all the color pencils but we have a small uh electric sharpener that we have but um i wanted them to have one then i picked up some erasers now i didn't get any more pencils because i had more than enough pencils for the school year and a whole big thing about downsizing from the school room we had to our little closet um i'm trying to like really have designated areas for specific things and it's like i cannot buy more than what fits in this box so i already have my uh my little stash of pencils so i didn't need any pencils but we did need erasers uh the eraser tops the pencil erasers always end up ripping off or um just you know they use it so much and the little like triangle looking ones they always rip and they don't work very well. So I picked up a few erasers. I got this pack also by that brand. We love their pencils. So I've never had these erasers, but I thought they were super cute. And we love the, the pencils that much. And they actually have pretty good erasers on their pencils. So I hope that these are as good as that. And also for like a little goodie, I picked up these erasers for their back to school little surprise i got those and then i got some binder rings they're different sizes assorted ones some red pens we've been proofreading and 
we're gonna be doing a lot more proofreading this this year so i wanted to be prepared with that now the stuff we got from walmart i got the giant glue sticks we got the disappearing purple uh it's easier for the the boys to like see what they're where they're gluing and like so they can keep it on the paper not out like on the table um so we got those and they like the large ones so we got the big ones and then i picked up some pens for myself some ultra tabs ultra tabs uh and they're just uh, little tabs to create dividers instead of buying a pack of dividers just bought some of these and there's 24 of them in there and i can use them for my planner and their binder and all sorts of things got a thing of post-its i'm not a big post-its person as much as like a a planner lover i consider myself i'm not big on post-its um but i always find myself like writing little notes everywhere so i picked up some post-its and and i really like the color assortment on these we got some rulers and i got the one with like the grip so they can hold it while you know they draw their lines and it's not going to be moving around they can easily hold it um so i got one for each one i got some of these uh primary journals i really like these uh, they're not big fans of of this by binding but it's okay anyway so it's half the page has the primary lines with the red lines and then like the dotted in the middle and then the rest of it is blank for a little drawing so i picked up two of those and also from walmart we got some notebooks these are from pen and gear and these are the college ruled i was looking for the wide ruled and david and he, david couldn't find a uh, the white ruled in the color he wanted which was green so we picked up college ruled and then this one's for myself last thing i got from walmart are these pencil pouches that will go in their binders i'm gonna put this away because it's a little surprise um but they will have those for the first day of school i'll have their binder set up and they will put i will put all their goodies in there so they can just have everything in one place they have the three hole punch thing for the three ring binder so now I can put everything away and I will have a video for you how I've organized all of our stuff and how I've sorted it all out in our closet. And uh, I'll share that with you in a separate video. So that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys on the next one.